Hello guys, it's Nick Zaz here with a brand new Happy Wars discussion video. To summarise this video, I'll be talking about different buffs in Happy Wars and how they can be used effectively in your chosen class. First of all, let's take a look at my items. I use dual axes, each with a different set of buffs to maximise my gaming experience. On the right axe, I have a fire enchantment and attack level up 2, which adds a plus 120 to my axe. However, on the left axe, I have Ambush Attack, Anti-Material Up and Construction Speed which help me build powers and generally help out when I'm fighting other players online. These small bonuses are important because it can be the difference for XP, kills and challenges, but they do of course cost happy stars to add and remove a buff from items, so remember to save them unless you've got happy tickets. Now looking at my helmet, it's mainly orientated around the uh, uh, XP. This means that for every kill, I gain an additional 5-15% to 15 bonus or something around that. The armour that I use, which is iron armour, is actually really good. I have two enchantments for it, which both are oriented around defence, giving me an additional plus 20, 200 defence bonus. It's really good as a juggernaut type of item uh, for berserkers or for clerics. I'm going to quickly go over to my Zephyr class. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, that's basically another, it's like the uh, special class for mage. And I'm going to show you the stats and how that I use for that. So, this hat that I use is called the Nightmare Hat, and it has four different buff slots, and it also looks pretty damn badass. Um, I filled them in to be the best from all of the premium items that I previously had, including some holiday bonus buffs. Looking at the stats, it doesn't look really good for mage defense, but it certainly helps out when I'm playing due to those little bonuses I get. The staff that I use is really good. It comes with an infused lightning enchantment which can't be changed, that's a bit disappointing. But, by reaching level 10 with it, and by adding the right burst, I get 700 mage attack and 650 normal attack. That means when I electrocute someone in game, or I send them whatever, I can then easily smack them to death with the stick in a mere 2 or 3 hits. Well, since I've got nothing else really to say, I'm going to end the video here guys. If you have any more questions, simply drop them in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. Or, if you simply want to play with our team on Happy Wars, you're more than welcome. Just hit me up on Xbox Live and I'll definitely send you an invite whenever we're about to get on. So, thanks for watching the video guys. Don't forget to, don't forget to like, comment, rate and most of all subscribe. If you want to see any more videos like this, just simply let me know. Next house, out.